Experts d'arreu del món han participat en el 5è Congrés Internacional IDP, centrat en la cara i creu de les xarxes socials. El discurs inaugural l'ha fet James Grimelman, professor associat de la New York Law School i una de les veus més destacades internacionalment sobre legislació i política en l'àmbit d'internet. So my plan for the next half hour or so is to talk about social network sites and why people use them and how they use social factors, social heuristics to think about the privacy risks involved and then how the privacy harms that result are in turn themselves deeply social. I'll then turn to three questionable, I call them solutions, ideas that people have proposed in various ways for eliminating some of these harms, and I'll show that they don't really engage with the deeply social nature of the reasons people use social networks. And then I'll draw some very unfortunate conclusions. La professora dels estudis de dret de la UOC, Raquel Xalabardé, va presentar una de les taules rodones, destacant la importància dels drets individuals a les xarxes socials. La llei encara és incertament, però serà interessant, és un moment interessant de veure on estem i on són els riscs i els riscs i quines són les possibilitats que encara estan disponibles per a nosaltres in the law as it currently sta uh, uh, stands. In any case, what I was now thinking while I was listening to the first presentation is that the law may be uncertain, many legal issues may be unsettled, but one thing is crucial, and I'm, I'm sure we all agree, is that ignorance will not excuse the user who's infringing rights by using these platforms. So we are also stepping in this new world where a lot of capability also implies a lot of responsibility and users should be very aware of what are the rights and obligations, their own rights, but also the rights of others that may be at stake while using these platforms. El Congrés va ser inaugurat pel vicerrector de recerca Eduard Aibar i el director dels estudis de dret Agustí Cerrillo. Els vídeos amb totes les ponències estaran accessibles al canal de la UOC a YouTube pròximament.